Now, let us learn in detail about the structure and function of nephron. Structure of nephron. Generally, each nephron has two parts. Malfeasian body, renal tubule. Malfeasian body. It consists of a blind cup shaped broader at the end of the nephron called Bowman's capsule and a bunch of fine blood capillaries called glomerulus. These two Bowman's capsule and glomerulus, together called as Malfeasian capsule or renal capsule. Glomerulus develops from efferent arteriole, which gives rise to an efferent arteriole. Basically, the diameter of efferent arteriole is less than efferent arteriole. As the efferent arteriole has narrow outlet, more pressure is exerted in the glomerulus. It functions as a filtration unit. Glomerulus that is accommodated in Bowman's capsule is lined by a single layer of squamous epithelial cells called podocyte cells. These podocyte cells are made up of fine pores between them. This allows passage of materials that are filtered out of glomerulus. There are fine pores between podocyte cells to allow passage of materials filtered out of glomerulus. Renal tubule Renal tubule consists of three parts. First, or proximal convoluted tubule, PCT, loop of Henle. Second, or distal convoluted tubule, DCT. Distal convoluted tubules, DCT, commences into a collecting tube. Collecting tube forms pyramids and calluses which open into the pelvis. Pelvis directs into the ureter. All the parts of the renal tubule are enclosed by a peritubular capillaries that are formed from efferent arteriole. This peritubular capillaries join together to form renal venule. 